Okay, Jeff for speed, cookies, electric upgrade. Yeah. Um, I think I've been talking with Mark about this since about the middle of June when we started the project out there. Um, I know that he's had estimates and numbers on feet of wire and wire and equipment. He's had it over a month or six weeks, I know. And I just was informed the other day when we were having George Schmidt getting ready to dig the wire in that we didn't have any material yet. Or approval. Or approval. Mark was the one that informed me, and I, I have no idea when that would have found out. The list right here. Yes. First part of September. September 13th, I think, right? I brought it into the office. And so it's brought into the office, correct, Mark? And it now was submitted to the council for approval, correct? Council approval on it, or that it hadn't been approved, we would have jumped it, jumped it a lot way. quicker because we had George Smith lined up to start digging, and now we find out that Marlene informed Jeff that it had to be approved at the council first. We we assumed it had been, being it was the first part of September when Mark was out there, and Jeff and him measured it out and had all the materials, and so we're ready to dig, and now we find out that it's not been approved. So I guess the question was, why wasn't it brought to the council? We discussed it back in June, and you guys said get hard figures, so that's what Mark has for you. You said you wanted hard figures, so... I know, and we got these in September 13th, so... Today's the 11th. When we discussed it in June, was it under the miscellaneous items or was it on the agenda? I don't think I was here, but uh, I know I just brought it up with Mark and I don't know what that was after that. Yeah, you're, you're on the agenda, it's just something that you discussed. Um, I haven't seen it before, so. Okay. Do you have it, Daryl? It was discussed at one time because I know it's in the minutes. And I believe it might have been discussed when we discussed the Twilight Acres project we did discuss one time. It. No, no, just discuss them. But How soon did you get George coming? Just he was there last week. He was there last week. That's when we found out that it hadn't been approved. Is he other materials on hand? I could probably get some wire in then several days. But I don't have anything else ordered because they didn't have approval. Well, what's this? It sure is fun to try to expand a business in this town. Can you tell me what it's going to take, Mark? It's, I guess. Right well, yeah. I've got this. What is it going to take to get this here? Phone calls. Okay, and how long? Uh, I don't know about the pants holder, but the wire. They probably got in stock in PC or the way, and as soon as they can get it on the truck to get it here. It didn't take very long for that other wire to get here, approximately. How about the transformers? That could be out a little ways. Which is a week or a month? What do you mean? How many? Just one or two? Six, eight weeks. You get one or two? One. Six, eight, 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 one. Eight, 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 eight
And you know, I speed it up if I go through TNR up there and I call in tomorrow and see how long it takes to get one here. I want to play at 500. Don't you think we could get one through TNR in about a week? That's what I can do if they got one up there. Is that an extra cost? <laughs> but didn't you say the last time you were trying to get transformers, if you had to get them in a rush, it was more money? That's a brand new one. Yeah, it's from Wesco up there. That, and that was brand new. We tried eight, because that was like 2,000 bucks more than if we did wait the eight weeks. Not that we don't need power, but again, I don't want the city to have to spend an extra $5,000 to rush something in. That we no, but we've already left just ago. four weeks. Yeah, it should have been decided five. four weeks ago already. Can I interrupt a minute? Okay, two thousand dollars transformer more for quad acres than what's on this price list. No, no. They've been here price. quite a while. You, I just remember you said earlier they've been there here quite a while ago. So why do we buy new ones for quad acres? Because it was going to be eight weeks out, and they had one in stock. But they're already here. That was before they approved to buy that transformer for quad acres. $11,500? I guess that must have been a July meeting when I wasn't here. Because we thought they were going to get this project rolling and they were, everybody was, hey, we're all of a sudden we need a transformer and we need all this stuff. So I had to approve of the order that transformer. And if we well, waited, eight, waited eight to ten weeks, we could have got it cheaper. It's, that was eight or ten weeks ago. Yeah, we just get it now, but I didn't know that we was going to drag it on this long. I was told, I'm just doing what I'm told. I was told to get the transformer here. So we didn't have time. You're to told by who? By Marlene was told. We, or we, we rushed this, paid $2,000 a transformer. I didn't give, no, the council told him to do it, not me. Okay. I don't make decisions like that on my own. Okay. Let's get back to this. So, so <laughs> let's get this done. I, I see some numbers. When without on. any rush, when could we have transformers and wire without the city incurring any extra expense? Well, I'm, I'm just looking at this 500 is 7,500, 750 is 9,500. Does that mean, is that meaningful on this page or can I just... No, it's either what, are, what size we want to go with. You want to go with the 750 kVA or the 500 kVA. That's the price for each. That's not our. Huh? It's not our decision. That's where an engineer. I don't know what they need. Yeah, I just told Mark that we had a 600 amp entrance. So whatever you need to. And I know yeah, that, you know, we, that we, we both we know that that's enough for expansion. If you want to put the cooking room on. Yeah, because I think we both know that 600s probably. Yeah, and I can double check on that. Transformers for a 500 KVA. Because you guys out there CPS figured that 500 KVA went 750. That's twice as big, so 500 should be good. Yeah. Well, how soon is your going to be done? What's dark now? What? It's dark now. Oh, right. I mean, it's well, it's all enclosed. Can't you just bring an extension cord? Yeah, we could. <laughs> <laughs> we could do an 18-3 extension cord and five 300-watt bolts, and then it also provide the heat for the building and the wire company. <laughs> <laughs> that was a right there. deal there. <laughs> okay, so Barry got all light too. Yeah, yeah. Have yeah. yeah, waiting rolls, do a little barbecue. <laughs> now, when realistically, I mean, uh, I, mean, I, I guess I assumed that that when we had George Smith coming in, we were thinking that the gas was going to get run and the water and the electricity and so we could just go on and complete our building project. Well, so, can Mark let us know tomorrow how long it's going to take, maybe? Yeah. I need to take phone calls. No, that's so that's We'll go ahead and order it. Well, you can order re refurbished ones or new ones. Is that the question here on the money? That's refurbished. 
new one is probably taking longer than that. But I'll make phone calls. Oh, the new one takes longer. Yeah. The refurbished, they, they remanufacture them up in Coleman, South Dakota. And then the, the new ones is what takes a long time to get. Okay. But the used ones are available in a short period of time. Shorter. I can find out in the morning. I'll call TNR first thing in the morning and call for the wire. That elbows we have on hand. Uh, so. Where is this being run from? No, the wire. From the cabinet out front to the east, across the driveway, no. and then straight up. I think on the uh, north east corner of your building, there's mm -hmm. thereabouts. You just go what, just bore it underneath that driveway. Mm -hmm. We've been waiting about three months to hear back from uh, Blackhawk Energy on the uh, Placing into the gas line to run around the same trench and have it running back. Oh, I'm the same trench left here. Black Hills Energy? Yeah. He was out. That's been at least three months ago. Mm -hmm. Is there, we have who, are you, who are you working with? Mark and the uh, guy from Black Hawk. What was his name? Is that Mark? Gordon Black Hawk Energy? You got that number for another outfit too. Yeah. yeah. I've got another number that we can I can give you for um, out of Omaha. That um, does okay. the same work. I was and told that they they'll do it for probably a fraction. They can tap that one. I don't know what the fraction would be because I haven't heard what the first was. Well, so. well, we tapped um, John Healy's line, and for the business was twelve hundred something, and for the resident was five something. But I can, if you call me tomorrow. That's high pressure line too. Yeah, but. You would be tapping the high pressure line out there too, wouldn't you? No, no, no. no, no, no. Okay, we got stuff to do that. So I can get you that other number for that. Or not to do two inches, because they had to splice that. We don't have anything to splice that. We could do that inch out front that you want to take into the front of the building. There. Oh yeah, on that one we uh, uh, were retrofitted or fitted the new furnaces with natural gas. Do I have to get approval for a gas meter to buy more gas or larger meter? A, a meter. It's electric right now. I just don't want to. Okay. I'd like to use gas too, please. Yeah, well, can we buy gas from you guys? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. We don't need approval for that. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah but we're going to need another <laughs> gas. for our furnaces. Yeah. And, but I don't want to run into the same thing as we did with electric. I want to make sure that that gets approved too. I have another question. Good. Yeah, four out wire on here. Is that necessary for this for seventeen hundred and ten feet? Well, if we ever try to get down back down here out front, running from the north down to the complex, we want to loop it and use that same wire. Yeah. Really? Where are you looping it? Quiet acres up there, coming Did all the way come down. Out from yeah, yeah, no, but why would you be looping around the side of the building? It's going down the easement between Cookies and Cook. Yeah. That'd be the only way to get through there. To the back of the building. Between right. the building. Hmm? But they want heavy enough wire to carry it if they want to shoot it on down to that right along the road. If they want to feed it a different direction, so it'd be heavy enough wire to do it. That was the north. north. <laughs> they feed it north? No, it goes south. south. They're coming. South. If, if south. Eventually, if they ever bring it from Twilight Acres down to us, then so that then if they want to loop it around the side of our building, there's heavy enough wire to carry it down to that feeder line along the road that goes out of town. It goes out of town. Before Ogden, all the way. Correct me. Yeah, you'd be bringing four out all the way down. Continuing all the way back around to the highway again. Well, they're going out of town now. That's why the section can't sit there. No, they're back into town. Oh. Well, I was thinking about proposing a loop through Fort Dodge, but then I realized that shit is so much closer. Um, That's right. I, I still haven't got it in my head because the loop doesn't seem like you go around the side of your building. Well, all it, 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 it isn't our loop. What it would be, it would be the city's running power that have power that they could direct a different direction instead of feeding up this way 
if they have some short or line blew up someplace, they could feed it from a different direction. 